A former Nazi labor camp guard who's been living in the United States since 1949 has been deported to Germany. Yakiv Pali worked at the Travniki labor camp in German-occupied Poland during World War II. He's the 68th Nazi deported from the United States and was the last remaining open case. Now, little is known about the camp where he worked in part because on November 3rd, 1943, thousands of prisoners were massacred. Auschwitz was the largest death camp with more than a million people imprisoned there. Author Michael Bornstein survived Auschwitz as a child and for decades he would never speak about it. Then, he says, something changed. I'll give you a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Oh, that's great. To Michael Bornstein's grandkids, he's known as Papa, father of four, grandfather to 11. But to his Nazi captors, Bornstein was known only as prisoner B-1148, his identity replaced by a tattoo on his arm. You didn't have a real name, and most prisoners did not survive very long when they got into Auschwitz. A time he hasn't spoken much about, even to his family, until now. I always kind of knew that my papa was in the Holocaust, but I never really understood what that meant. It's this famous Auschwitz liberation footage Bornstein happened to see that finally inspired him to tell his full story. He recognized himself, the little boy on the right, one of the few young children who survived Auschwitz. It was one of the images Bornstein discovered being used by Holocaust deniers. They said Auschwitz was not bad, it was a labor camp. It was devastating and uh, I threw a book down on the desk and I was furious. So with help from his daughter Debbie and two years of research, Michael Bornstein shared his truth in a book called The Survivors Club. I think it's important for me, especially now, that my children and grandchildren know what we've been through and to know that this can happen again. This would have been taken before the Nazis really hit Jarki. Bornstein's story starts in Jarki, Poland, in the late 1930s, with the Germans invading the village and the family's happy life. Your book starts with an awful story of something your mother witnessed at a graveyard. My mother uh, was hiding behind a tree, and the Nazis were making a Jewish family dig a pit. After that, the Nazis asked the family to hug, and they killed them all and got them into the pit. And my mother just talked about that all the time. It was very, very uh, difficult for her. Talk to me about indications that things were going the wrong direction that many people ignored. They just didn't want to believe it. Uh, and eventually they saw what was happening. My mother was very optimistic. She always said things would, would get better. But things didn't get better. And in 1944, Bornstein and his family were rounded up, forced onto a train, and imprisoned in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Within days of his arrival, his brother, just five years older, and his father were taken away. They were never seen again. How did you survive Auschwitz? There are very few children little children who, who made it through Auschwitz. My mother uh, was in Auschwitz for a period of time, and she would come in and give me some of her bread and soup, uh, and she was beaten over the head for doing that. Bornstein says instead of keeping him in the children's bunk, his mother had him in the women's barracks, where he learned to keep quiet and still. I it was one of the best hiders. I don't do that anymore. Less than a year after they arrived, the war ended. Auschwitz was liberated. The camp's liberators filmed Bornstein's grandmother carrying him to freedom. They made their way back to Zsarki, looking for proof of their old life, treasures hidden and left behind. All the jewels and money were stolen, but there was one item that survived, which is a kiddish cup, a cup where you make blessings over the wine. And we're very lucky, and we use that Kiddush cup as a symbol of survival. That symbol of survival made its way to America with Bornstein and his mother, refugees with little except hope. Odd jobs and his mother's encouragement earned Bornstein a college degree from Fordham and a successful career in the pharmaceutical industry. 
a story his family is proud to pass on to future generations. It taught me that no matter what challenges I may face, they can always be overcome. My mother was a very positive person. She had a saying, Gam ze ya'avor. What's that mean? This too shall pass. Thank you.